If you've done this, you're already part of a revolution in mobile technology. Biometrics, the science of measuring features or functions of the human body to establish your identity. Passwords, pins, usernames, infuriatingly hard to remember and downright dangerous. That's why innovative startups are popping up around the world, solving the security problem with biometrics. We actually use the vein patterns in your eye. I verify discovered that the blood vessels in the whites of your eyes are as unique as the whorls on the tips of your fingers. So the iris, many people know the iris, they expect that to be a good biometric, and it is, but it actually takes infrared light and an infrared camera, which phones don't have. We use just an ordinary phone. Enter my name. Gosh, this is fast. Done. I verify caught the attention of Samsung, Sprint, and Wells Fargo. They all invested. Now the Kansas City-based company is using that backing to crack two markets where security is paramount. Number one is enterprises. Big companies want to protect access to their networks. There's a breach like every day. The second one is, you know, broadly mobile banking or mobile financial services. According to one forecast, by 2019, five and a half billion people will use biometric authentication on mobile and wearable devices. MasterCard has been experimenting with biometrics too and recently tested an app using voice and facial recognition for 14,000 e-commerce transactions. MasterCard also invested in Bionim. This Toronto-based startup has developed a wristband, the $79 NIMI, that harnesses what may be the most secure biometric of all, your heartbeat. If you look at all of the little peaks and valleys in the shape of that waveform, that's unique to you. We've now tied this to you. It's in an active state because it knows it's still on your wrist. Right. And now we can have it do stuff. For example, we can have it unlock a phone. That's the beauty of persistent identity. Imagine how seamless life would be if logging onto your email, unlocking your car, or checking into a flight were as easy as strapping on a wristband and verifying your ECG. The device does the rest. Is buying out to kill the password? I don't know if we use that word too much, but probably yes.